My last stop today is our hotel site. This is 278 South Glenwood. We are getting ready to put up construction fencing, screening that says future development site for the Ivy Hotel, Franklinton Ivy Hotel. So we're getting this moved out by the private hauler. We're getting this out, cleaning up some of this stuff a little bit. We're gonna be putting six foot fencing all the way around, which means you can see all the way back is 33 feet, 33 feet in the front. Um, there's some additional trash here that we're cleaning up a little bit. We've already called local waste to have removed the box or we'll demolish it in about two days. And then we've got this sign up here. This whole chain link fence will come out. Some, this brush will clean up a little bit. And then where this chain link fence is, close to this retaining wall, we're gonna be putting our new fence. And this is BZA variants. You can see BZA24129. And that is for our parking reduction. That's it. A hotel use is a permitted use on this parcel. We can go 70 feet tall. It's super unfortunate that the community did not get their uh, hotel approved or the apartments. It would have been great. This will actually end up costing us less and make more. Now they get a seven story hotel right here, which is a supported land use in a manufacturing district. So when people vote no on proposals, they have to understand there's consequences. Unfortunately, we'd have loved to see apartments here. It's a better asset class. It's easier. It's less of a business to maintain, but as an investment group, we have to, um, we can't just sit on raw land. So we're gonna move forward with everything. This investor wanted to do apartments. So we are actually doing, we're converting his uh, purchase to a note. So we're doing, he bought it, I think for 50,000. He's got about, I don't know how much into the entitlements, but whatever it ends up being, probably the note will be 129,000. When we, we already have a permitted use. So if we had an appraisal done right now, we already had an appraisal done for apartments. We're getting more rooms on here, maybe 78 rooms, up to 78. Um, let's just say the land's worth a million dollars. Then he'll take a 16% equity position to protect it. We'll take him off title and he'll have, he'll secure it with a note at 12%. We'll start making payments on the note and he will be able to cash in on his investment by selling that note at a discount so if he's into it for seventy thousand, he sells a note for 110 he made thirty thousand on seventy thousand in six months and we got him off the development because he didn't want to be on a hotel deal and well we already have an investment group that's looking at the deal in los angeles and a few others so that is kind of our plans for this site is to get uh, everything looking better, looking like a pre-development site so that we can start doing property tours. Our final BZA meeting is going to be in December um, to get the parking reduction approved and we shouldn't have any trouble. We already had support for 105 spots. We only need 85 spots for the hotel. So I don't see any trouble at all, no matter what, how it's voted. So either way, we did the parking study. I'm sure the Franklinton Area Commission will vote no on it. I'm not even sure why we're going to the meetings, but we'll try. We'll try to talk to them. And um, that's that, you know, but it's a supported, this is where neighborhood groups are a little bit different than city groups because the division of parking and public service had previously supported our parking reduction because we did a parking traffic, a parking study that shows there's capacity for 280 spots on the street. We're only asking for a reduction for one quarter of that. And that's the impact area. It's set by 750 foot radius. So I don't see any trouble. So since we only have that parking reduction, there's other places. There's a five acre site across the street that we're looking at. If we can locate parking within 750 feet and we can properly park it, we don't even need a BZA variance. So we're looking at sites for that as well. But to put the hands in our control, we submitted the BZA application to reduce parking, required parking to zero so that we have options for parking. It doesn't mean we're not gonna park the site, it just means that we don't we, we want to move forward with a building that doesn't have parking on site and that would be the easiest way to do it in terms of that five acre site that i'm talking about that is right over here it's a building materials company that um we're going to maybe talk to for parking that's everything
278 South Glenwood, Franklinton Ivy Residences. It was gonna be called, we changed the name to Franklinton Ivy Hotel. And that will be a Moxie style development with rooms about 180 square feet, on-site restaurant, on-site supported uses, shop, boutique hotel. Easy, easy. Sites like this, we could still park at too if we did ground leases, but there's no need to tie all that capital if we can get a parking reduction approved to zero. It gives us plenty of time to consider it. So that's everything that we're doing on this development for the next 30 days on Glenwood. Much more going on with it, but we assume construction sites, construction value of around seven, seven million and um, asset value based on ADRs and occupancy rates. We expect the hotel to be worth maybe 13 to 14 million. So plenty of equity for us to bring in capital partners and pay them 25% returns through milestone driven equity or debt. Rob Ellis, Pink Development and Construction, 614-408-762. Let us know if you have any entitlement needs in Columbus, apartments, hotels, industrial, any mixed use, any asset class. You can tell we know our stuff. If you don't think we do, please tell me why. 614-408-762.